What is going on, my Super Saiyan, which is Ramsa here, and today I'm joined by Geekdom 101 for another Dragon Ball Super discussion based on the most recent Chapter 8 leaks, meaning spoilers. Uh, and today's focus is going to be about Kabe the Saiyan. Now, before we start, again, this is your one chance to leave in case you don't want nothing spoiled. Uh, but if you don't care, keep watching. But without further ado, let's jump into Kabe, because Kabe was the one character that was revealed about the most in the Chapter 8 leak. So, uh, Geekdom, actually, you want to do a quick summary on what was revealed with uh, Kabe? There's a lot. So, Kabe pretty much recognized Vegeta um, immediately. Not, I don't think he recognized them because there's a Universe 6 Vegeta, even though there may be. It was I mean, because it was because they were Saiyans, that's why. Yeah. Like, oh, you're Saiyans too? What up? Yep, yep. And uh, it's interesting because, you know, a lot of stuff was revealed. Yeah, but basically he recognized them. They had a conversation, and we found out. Uh, this is total new world building lore stuff, which I, I love this stuff. We found out that the uh, the Saiyans or the Saiyans or the Saiyajin, however you want to pronounce it, I pronounce them as Saiyan because that's the original way. But if you want to stay Saiyan too, it doesn't really matter. It's just, you know who we're talking about here. So what what's going on is that in Universe Six, there's a planet called Planet Salad, which actually did exist in Universe Seven. Now there was a hint in a guidebook years ago about this, but it was never really expounded upon. And now I guess Toriyama's either remembering or just starting stuff up again, or I don't really know. But basically. Uh, the Saiyans started on Planet Salad, and in Universe 7, not 6, they had an issue, like a civil war, and it, they destroyed themselves, essentially, and then they moved over to what at the time was called Planet Plant, which is where the Sephurians lived, or the Sufurujin. In the dub, they called them the Tuffles, which, you know, they were really, their story was really kind of expounded upon more so in GT. Now, I know... And also, yeah. and also if you want to uh, talk about Planet Plant, it's also the planet that's, uh, is featured in the episode of Bardock that uh, we get sent back in time. Yeah, it is Planet Vegeta, it's just a long time ago. A yeah. Exactly, and what happened was, um, at that you know, a long, at that time, it, well, episode of Bardock was, if, again, I don't want to go into canon, alright? Everybody has their own canon. If you consider episode of Bardock canon, that was mm -hmm. way before this. Um, but, what happened was, the, the whole race migrated to that planet, and they had a war with um, the Sufurians, and they took over, and then they renamed it Planet Vegeta, because at the time, King Vegeta was the leader. Which is kind of cool, it's like, Fidel Castro. Anyways, and I know about that. Anyway, Planet Geekdom. Yeah, Planet Geekdom. <laughs> New Cuba. But no, <laughs> they took over, and then, of course, Frieza came in, and they... And, and, and Frieza was a dick, in case you guys didn't know. He was kind of an asshole. Uh, kind of. <laughs> kind of, yeah. But he employed them. Uh, now, in universe... Employed. If you, quote unquote. Employed. There you go. <laughs> now, he also gave them the armor, the one that Vegeta and Nappa wear. However, Universe 6, these events did not happen. Planet Salad is still there. We know that Frost, we talked about that in another video, Frost is the Emperor of Universe 6, which is what Frieza was. But Frost is not a bad guy, according to Piccolo's uh, sense. He does not sense any evil key from Frost. Okay, fair enough. Uh, and also, one thing to toss out there, again, in case you guys missed the other video uh, this week. The clothes that Kabe is wearing is the original clothes the Saiyans wore before Frieza annexed the planet. I just want to toss it out there again in case people missed that small detail, which is kind of cool. We've got more Saiyan lore uh, out of the revelation of Kabe. Yeah, that's why I love it. I love this this lore. Yeah, they're actually like yeah, they're, they're actually like what the Galactic Patrol is in Universe Seven, which is they're like you know freedom fighters. Now we don't know. One thing that is a mystery is that we do not know if Frost employs them. It's implied that he doesn't. That they're kind of two separate groups, but. We're gonna find out more probably in chapter nine, of course. But mm -hmm. pretty much, we found out that the uh, the Saiyans of Universe Six uh, are good people. Like they're they're not like evil, you know, warring bastards. They're still a warrior race, but they're not like greedy and selfish like the ones of Universe Seven. We also discovered that there's a lot of stuff. We also discovered that um, Universe Six Saiyans evolved beyond the point of having a tail, which is interesting because uh, they cannot turn into great apes. And I wonder if that actually increased their power or decreased it because there's a bit of a retcon in Dragon Ball where, um, you know, Radix tells Goku, oh, well, you know, your tail is the source of your power. But later on in the series, we find out that these characters can unlock higher levels of form, uh, higher levels mm -hmm. of power without even needing a tail. So, yep. uh, that, th so then that begs the question, okay, which we're going to find out soon anyways, but, you know, it's with Kabe. You know, how strong are these Saiyans? Because I'm sure there's warriors and then there's, you know, people who aren't that strong. How right. strong are they? How strong is Kabe? D are they able to unlock SSJ and, and Super Saiyan? Or more importantly, what if their version of Super Saiyan is different from the one that Goku and Vegeta use? There's a lot of possibilities here. There's a lot of things they can do. And also, uh, do they have the ability 
to unlock or tap into God key? And if so, will they make Super Saiyan gods? Which I is, wonder, remember, Dino, you did a video about this recently, about the end of the red-haired form. What if yep. they bring the red-haired form back for those? That, there's a lot of stuff that could do. Yeah, that's exactly why I wanted to do this video about Kabe Soli. I mean, I know we briefly discussed them in several videos this past week, but I figured this deserved its own topic just because if if you have a planet of pure heart of Saiyans, like a full planet, like none of these guys are assholes, um, how common is Super Saiyan God with the red hair? Like, does everybody have it? Is is uh, is are we going to finally get a Super Saiyan God with the red hair or Super Saiyan Blue in this tournament? Like, there's so many questions out there and so many speculations and theories that we could toss out there just based on this revelation that Chapter 8 gave us. And uh, I would love to see that. I mean, who here? Comment below if you want to see this. Who here would love to see a Super Saiyan Red versus Super Saiyan Blue finally be thrown into? Because I know for the past year, we still get people who talk about what's strong, Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan Red. Uh, despite there being a lot of facts saying Super Saiyan Blue is stronger, people still believe Super Saiyan Red is stronger. But it all depends on the character. You know, obviously, if Goku really wanted to, he could have probably become Super Saiyan Red stronger than Vegeta or Super Saiyan Blue. It all depends on the character themselves. It so, depends on how it's written. And not, not just that, but exactly. some, some people were also speculating that maybe the Universe 6 Saiyans can do SS4, which, uh, okay, number one, uh, that'd be cool for fan service, but I don't know if I want that. Number two, if they don't have it, tails... Yeah, they don't have tails, I don't think it would work. Yeah, it, yeah. So they either have some other transformation... Or they have the same stuff that Goku and Vegeta have. Who knows? But we it's very interesting. It's very, very interesting because there's people... I don't know if you've talked to him, but there's people already speculating that maybe Vegeta will go there and... Um, I, he's not going to rule that planet because Vegeta's past that already, but they could do another, a whole different story arc about Vegeta visiting Planet mm -hmm. Salad. Um, and, and another thing, too, is... Uh, and this is a, a total... Okay, number one, before I go into this, I want to say... This is complete what if scenario here. This is a complete, complete, you know, my own head here. People have been clamoring for this. And again, I did a, did a whole video about this with Lance from Miss Mystery Fusion of Goku meeting Bardock. If there's a Universe 6 Bardock, that's somewhat kind of giving you what you want. And what if his mom might also be there too? You talked about in the other video how Frost might have gone to Universe 6. What if she ended up going through some wormhole in Universe 6? Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of, there's limitless possibilities. But the one that intrigues me the most is if Frost and if the Saiyans are good, who is bad? And yeah. they're, they cannot just tickle our nuts and not <laughs> show us. Nuts. You know what I mean? <laughs> there has to be an evil force in that universe. Right. And I strongly believe that, you know, we, we talked to us about Hit. I think Hit honestly has uh, other intentions. Yeah. What if he steals the, dra the Super Dragon Balls and basically puts Beerus and Champa out of power or something? They, I feel like there's going to be something around Hit that's going to be ultimately the outcome of that arc. And uh, I don't know. That's what I'm kind of expecting. But there's just so much that can be written here. I feel like... I guess here's the first question. Number one. Or I guess number two, because I already asked a couple questions. Uh, the first question I asked from this, I guess, set of questions is, do you guys think that uh, Kabe is going to reveal a different kind of form of uh, Super Saiyan? Whether it's Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan 5, Super Saiyan, like, I don't know, Rainbow, I don't care. Is he going to have a different kind of power, it's number one? a whole new power, yeah. Yeah. Number two, who is it that employs the Saiyans now? You know, probably believes that it is Frost, because Frost seems like a good guy, but it could be someone else. And... Number three is like if you have your own questions about this, like what is that one question? Like there's just so much discussion so here. Much, I just, bro. I'm so hyped. I'm, so, I'm beyond hyped. I mean, dude, the, the, and that's the thing that we can literally talk about this. We, we can do six, seven videos about this because yeah. there's so much potential. And it's funny because again, I'm gonna, okay, I'm not gonna sit here and, you know, jock ride Toriyama here, but it really irritates me. Again, I'm gonna say this. Toriyama is not the best writer. He's not George R. R. Martin. He's not Christopher Nolan. He's not Quentin Tarantino as far as quality of writers. As far as anime goes, he's not no Tagashi because Tagashi, you know, you love Tagashi. Tagashi right. is very tight with his storytelling. But Toriyama, without a question to me, is an, a brilliant human being because he creates this world, Dragon Ball, where there's, you know, demons and gods and monkey boys. Then he expounds upon it in the later arcs of the manga, Dragon Ball Z, where he reveals Goku's an alien. They go into space. Then he's got time travel in there. Then he's got mystical, um, you know, demon, demonic forces and gods and things like that. And then when you think, okay, well, we've already explored this universe. We already know there's gods and demons and things like that. Well, uh -huh. here's another universe. Jesus, it's like the guy, I don't know if he just doesn't run out of ideas or he just, 
Anybody who insults Toriyama as far as being creative is fucking, sorry for cursing, stupid. Because, <laughs> dude, this guy, I said it last video, bro, a couple videos ago, this guy has given Bandai, Namco, uh, Toei, SH Figure Arts, he has literally handed them a, a truck filled with money here to print merchandise, video games, mm -hmm. stories for the next 10 years. Because it's just, yep. this new universe... I mean, dude, there's there might be an alternate universe Goku. There may or may not be. There, you know, there might be another King Cold, who's Frost Dad, King Icebox, or something. Who knows? King there's Icebox. just dude. Well, and what <laughs> about chest. what about the Namekians? Are, are mm -hmm. there are there Namekians in Universe Six? It's literally like, oh, I don't even know what to even say, bro. It, it's just so much to talk about. So much possibilities. Super could literally go on for like three years at this point. And as long as they keep doing new stories, I'm fine with it. I mean, they could be like, yeah, a, I'm down. dude, there could be like an inter inter universe war. There's just so much stuff now that's just, and I really hope he doesn't blow it. Mhm. Mm yeah. So I have confidence. I have a lot of confidence. I mean, uh, if the Kabe revelation information, the, the Kabe information that was revealed, revelation, has that much background, I wonder what's going to be uh, revealed with the other characters. Well, this is just this is just one character. Well, let me ask you a question, cause um, cause I didn't know you back then, but uh. When I watch, or not when I watch, when I read, because I didn't see it in Japan, but when I read about Battle of Gods, and at the end of the movie, when Beerus reveals, and this is back in 2013, when uh -huh. he revealed that there are 12 universes, I immediately knew right then and there, I was like, this is, yep. this is a, I knew it. I said, when, it, when he said that, I go, this is no accident. This yeah. is no accident. And I said, purpose. it might take 10 years, it might take two years, something is going to come of this. I was thinking maybe just the video game. And now we have all this stuff. Like, did you feel that way too when you first? I heard did. That? I, I mean, I, at first I was like, well, maybe he just, you know, he's testing it to see at what what could happen. And then as more, uh, you know, Dragon Ball kind of started blowing up between games, uh, merchandise. I knew that's where it was going. I, I just, I had a feeling like when he said that. I remember I, I, I read it and I texted my friend. We had a phone conversation. I go, I'm not going to spoil the movie for you. All I'm going to say is that at the end of the movie, they say something where there's more coming. That's all I said. I said yeah. there's, there's without yep. question. I thought that the, I didn't think Resurrection F was even going to happen. I thought the 2015 movie was going to be about Universe 6, but they held off a little bit, did the Frieza thing for, for marketing purposes because Frieza is a popular villain. Most of us who got into Dragon Ball, both in Japan and in this country, recognize Frieza as the main villain and you know the most popular villain not to mention that right. when it blew up here on Toonami Frieza was it was during the Frieza saga so it was very good marketing um now it's like who knows bro so Kabe dude more Saiyans people have wanted more Saiyans it's it's actually funny uh when Dragon Ball Super was first announced one of my first speculation videos was will they bring out more Saiyans and I remember everybody commented in my video no way Ryan so there's no way they would do more Saiyans that would be unoriginal it's stupid. I hope Broly comes back. I, uh, I'll be honest. I would never want Broly to come back. I, uh, not because, not because you know it's unoriginal. Just because I don't like Broly's character. <laughs> uh, look, uh, the people are gonna look. All right, all right. I, I'm not gonna have an opinion on that. Um, I'm just gonna say that. Um, okay, I'm just gonna say that Broly. There's a very, very slim chance he's coming back for several reasons. Don't hate. Don't kill the messenger. For several reasons, there's a very slim chance he'll come back. Um, but that doesn't mean we might not get a Broly-type guy. I mean, what if yeah. there's some roided freak in Universe 6? You never know. Yep. How yep. many vegetable puns are they going to have, bro? What, what what vegetables are missing at this point? We got cabbage. They we don't got have... cabbage. We got radishes. We got... Uh, do we have tomato? Uh, uh Tomato. I feel like we do. We have to have tomato. I'm, am I missing one? We, we got we got radish, we got carrots, we got yeah broccoli. Who knows? Or what if, <laughs> dude? What if this is a chance for them to reintroduce Tarble? Because Tarble is not in Super. Um, people actually tweeted me today: Is Tarble canon? And I said, Don't worry about the canon. But maybe this is a chance for them to reintroduce Tarble. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. who who knows, man? The point is that the Kaba thing is is really really fascinating stuff. And again, yeah. this is stories for the next five years. But they could do they could do an entire Xenoverse mission where you go to that planet in a sequel. Yeah. Literally endless ideas, dude. Like Toriyama, bro. Fucking, I bow to Toriyama's brilliance to to, to come <laughs> up with. Okay, well, I'm out of I'm out of the universe seven. We've done everything we can do here. Let's just go to another universe and see what happens. Like now, yeah. it's like we're rewriting history, bro. I, I, I'm just, I've, it's never been more exciting than it is now for me. Yeah, I, don't know, I think we are, we pretty much already covered everything. We covered a lot about Kabe and then more. 
But if there's any question you had about copy, any excitements, any kind of feedback, you know how this works. Drop it in the comment section below and let's see what the community is uh, clamoring about when it comes out of Kabe. But I'm excited about the whole aspect of seeing the good Saiyans, what they're uh, capable of. Do they all have Super Saiyan God or a different kind of form? Uh, I guess we'll find out next month in the manga unless the anime catches up a lot sooner, which I doubt it will. But um, I think by the time we get to March, it'll be around the same level of uh, pacing. The manga and anime will be caught up. So uh, I guess we'll find out next couple weeks. Uh, Geek, is there anything else? I, I mean, I just don't know how you can be a fan of Dragon Ball, and I, I don't care if you got it. If you love the dub, if you hate the dub, if you love Kai, if you hate Kai, if you love Super, you hate Super. I don't know how you can be a fan of this franchise, or if you got into the video games and not be excited. Because even even if you don't like the anime, even if you're one of those guys who just loves Xenoverse and just loves playing Budokai all motherfucking day. Sorry for cursing. Um, it there's you're going to get more games now, so it's like so much. It's excitement. a win. It's a win no matter yeah. what. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little discussion about Kabe and more. Uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like down below and check out Geekdom as well. But other than that, as always, you guys enjoy the rest of the day. This has been Geekdom and Rhyme Style, and we'll see you guys in the comment section below. Bye.